Hello, this is Helm4004, the sixth Minecraft pre-release for Minecraft Java 1.18, the Caves and Cliffs update part 2, has been released today. And I will go over what is new in this version. So let's get started. Starting with, the amount of features in Caves has been tweaked a little bit. And in a previous snapshot for 1.18, your world now automatically saves. But instead of saving every so often, it now saves when it gets the chance. This will help reduce a little bit of lag spikes. There was some off-heap memory leaks, and the signature attribution has now been full. Instead of having a netherrack in between, soul sand and soul soil could sometimes spawn right next to the bedrock ceiling in the nether. That was not supposed to be. That has now been fixed. This update still fixes a quite a few more things to do with when you're upgrading your world from a previous version to 1.18. Rather, if there was some chunk errors down below, or some things in ocean monuments not quite being in the same position they used to be. So now, more upgrading things to this version has been fixed, and hopefully will upgrade a lot better. If you were in the previous version, if you were standing on a ladder in the ladder move, you could stay suspended in air. And then finally, Dripstone now should have more correct placements, especially in regards to lava. Yes, Dripstone does not remove lava anymore. Nice. And that was pretty much everything in the snapshot. The article link is in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Hopefully it wasn't too boring staring at my face. The change logs just aren't that exciting. As we get to the end of Caves and Cliffs, it truly is just bug fixes. This whole 1.18 is set to release on November 30th, coming up here in about a week. And that is all I have for today, so I hope this is helpful and I hope you enjoyed. And for now, this is Hound4004 saying goodbye.